So after a challenge, you're wondering what your macros should be. Well, generally after a challenge, after a four week of intensive dedicated work where you've been cutting calories and uh, your, your carbohydrates because you've been cutting calories have been depleted as well. And so I like an ascension when it comes to integrating carbohydrates and calories back into your system. So for instance, if at the end of the challenge you're consuming a thousand calories and of those calories you're eating, let's say a hundred grams of carbs. And so Monday, we don't want to roll around and shoot you back up to 3,000 calories because that's basically what you're burning in a day. But we want to have an ascension in your calories, but we also want to have an ascension into your carbohydrates because you don't want to just overload all those carbohydrates, eat a bunch of carbohydrates. And then what happens is that you're not using them. And so they're going to get stored in muscle, but then they're also going to get stored as fat. So when it comes to your macro splits, just do a gradual ascension back to normal. So your protein would probably go up by uh, or go down because you're probably higher protein at the end. So if you're at 50% protein, you go down to 45% protein. And if you're at 25% carbohydrates, you go up to 35% carbohydrates. And I always you like to use the midway week as a guideline as to what progressions we should make. But you can do that on a weekly basis to keep it simple. So calories should be ascending or descending. Your protein should be probably descending. And then your carbohydrate should be ascending.